I heard like bang, 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 very loud. A D.C. firefighter was shot and killed today. That's the big story at 5. And some neighbors tell Fox 5 they believe the man who shot the firefighter may have been trying to protect the firefighter's girlfriend. Well, let's get right out to Fox 5. Stephanie Ramirez live in the Bryan Roads area of Charles County where the shooting unfolded. Steph? Marina, Jim unfolded very early here now. I want to be very clear, Charles County Sheriff's Office tells us that they, they did receive a lot of these statements and witness accounts from the neighbors here who either heard the gunshots or who came out afterward, but they are not confirming many of those details just yet, telling us that they are still vetting those statements. It was actually the D.C. Fire Department that first confirmed that their member was the man shot and killed here. We're told an eight-year veteran of the department, Carl Braxton, uh, we're told he served at Engine 22 in Shepherd Park. Now, the Charles County Sheriff's Office did say that their office responded at around 3.30 this morning. Multiple neighbors said they heard up to six gunshots and that it's their understanding one neighbor was out walking his dog early when he came across a possible domestic violence situation. He allegedly tried to intervene to help the woman involved and end up shooting the man now identified as the D.C. firefighter killed. That firefighter's family was on scene here also looking for answers. Here's an uncle we spoke with. You'll also hear afterward a neighbor here. Um, loved his job, loved his family, um, loved his kids. Uh, we don't really know actually what happened. This is a tragedy and my nephew gone. What I can hear from my window is um, maybe my neighbor could have been maybe possibly trying to intervene um, with a domestic dispute and a guy that um, got shot. I possibly said, I'll, you know, mind your MF business, or I'll kill you and your dog. This is very upsetting. Um, one of the neighbors involved, I do know him, and um, he's a good person. He, you know, helps people with the lawns around here, very friendly, very nice guy. Just, I'm so sorry that this has happened for both families, because it is traumatic for everyone involved. That neighbor, the woman said she knows there is the dog owner here. Uh, Charles County State's Attorney's Office, they have not confirmed yet whether they plan on charging the shooter. We're told that person is cooperating with authorities. D.C. Fire, the police, uh, the fire chief, excuse me, issued a statement. They said that they are going to have support for the firefighter's colleagues going through this difficult time. The fire department offering their condolences. We're told the firefighter leaves behind two sons. Guys, back to you.